Hi, everybody, and welcome to the final part on how to use WebDigger range. In the fifth and final part, Alex is going to explain to us how to use editing markers. Alex, take it away. In this video, I would like to show you how to use the Fates metadata masks to change the mark in and mark out or the intro and outro of an element. Click on the element, go into the Fates mask, then you will see the buttons appear to set the mark in, the intro, the outro, and the mark out, and you will see the waveform appear. Once we start playing, on non-mobile devices where we have enough space, we will see both the small waveform in the metadata mask and the waveform on the element to get a better overview of the waveform. Let's start playing. So now I want to change the intro marker to about when the singer begins to sing. This. Dry There's the intro. This riverbed, sitting in a boat for days, so in the end, I see there's some silence. So I will no see through the element. The horizon, no here. And I set the mark out. When the audio has ended. Let's save this and we're done. Hey, great stuff, Alex. Thank you very much. And everyone, this concludes our five part overview to how to use WebDigger range. Thanks again for watching and don't forget David Systems listening in action.